only a week after having mowed this lawn it's already growing back I reckon another three or four weeks and it'll be up to my knees again you know last week when I was mowing the lawn and we replaced the spindles on the mower I ended up with a problem where the belt kept slipping off and I think uh, Paul might have adjusted the tensioner a little bit too tight and it eventually broke the old belt. So today I've got a new belt and I'm going to whiz this back on the mower and see if I can do a bit more. I struggled with this bloody thing for a couple of hours before I realised the belt they had sent didn't fit. When I ordered a second belt it was also too short. So I've ordered a third belt and hopefully that one will fit. Got a couple of pretty old saw horses here, and I just can't be, um, I just can't justify buying new ones when I reckon I can replace the wood on these, and that's what I'm going to give it a crack to do right now. So I had to take all the old bolts off, which were quite rusted. It took some time to do that, but once I'd got that done, it was a matter of just cutting pieces of timber the same size as the ones that were already there and putting them back on. Not that I'm a tight ass or anything. Now just drilling holes in the new bits of timber, hopefully the right size, new bolts in and the legs go back on. back at the block again I like spending time up here I'm going to give it a crack uh, changing or replacing this bit of plasterboard it's um, pretty munted um, so to do that I've got to take off this scotia a couple of these quads uh, let's get cracking into it the first task is to uh, climb the ladder and remove all the trim that have been had been installed on the walls probably a hundred years ago some of those nails are well bedded in it is a little bit difficult to see on the video but there's plenty of dust falling out of the roof that's probably been sitting there since they first built it And off comes a sheet of fiberboard. All the walls were fitted with fiberboard over the plasterboard and we think that was so the kids could put up little posters and pages of stories and things that they would in school. I'm in two minds about how much this uh, fiberboard to remove, but the bits we do have to remove, the glue has failed significantly and it makes it much easier to pull the fiberboard off the plasterboard. This part of the window trim needs to come off and these nails that have been there for so long are still really hard to get out. And at last it's free. A 
check out the dust coming out of this quarter round uh, from the ceiling cavity. And this, uh, once it's removed, allows me to get this last bit of plasterboard uh, off the wall. And then it's just a few nails that are left behind that have got to come out of the bits of jarrah and I can start um, looking at putting up the chip rock. And around this point sometime I actually found a few active white ants uh, living in part of the wood. Um, I managed to exterminate them because they don't like drinking diesel. I learnt a long time ago that it's sometimes easier to keep areas clean as you're working and I'm also going to vacuum some of the rubbish out of the wall before I put the chip rock up. I have to put some timber in there to secure this edge of the chip rock panelling. As I said before, I like my nail guns. Once again, the old pump shed provided the necessary pieces of jip rock to fit neatly into this piece of wall. Unfortunately, no nail gun for the jip rock, and I have to use a hammer and some nails. Window trim goes back in, and yeah, I'll probably use the nail gun on this. It's time to deal with this gap here so that Roger can get in the back door. I don't really know what was at the door when the school was originally in use. But in recent times the dirt has been pushed up to the door jam and this has caused further problems. But this big step is no good for Roger, he just can't get in there. So building this ramp into the back of the school will make it so much easier for him to get in. It actually makes it easier for us as well. So I can wheel stuff in quite easily now. Well, with all those jobs finished, it's time to head on back home. And the drive is made much more pleasant with the crops of canola and all the yellow flowers coming out. <laughs>